This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know about you, but these days of Easter and this octave, there is, uh, there is so much mystery to look at and to, and to, uh, and to touch, as we hear in, in the gospel today. A couple things to draw your, your minds to. One is, have you noticed during the Mass that we've been uh, praying the Gloria? The Gloria which is uh, part of a solemnity, right, that we, that we celebrate eight days because Easter is so packed that 24 hours just isn't good enough. We need eight days of the day of Easter. And we've been, we've been um, praying the Gloria. If you think about where the Gloria came from, the Gloria is one of the hymns of the angels. You hear the Gloria from glory to God in the highest when our Lord is born in Bethlehem. And when we pray this at the Mass, it is to remind us of our fellowship with the angels, how, um, how the glory of the Lord, which they behold constantly, is breaking into our world through our celebration of the Mass. So the glory, the glory of, is to um, open us up, to, to begin to see the tremendous glory of the Lord, the mystery and the glory of the Lord and his love for us that that is revealed in the Easter mystery. And the way to, I think, to um, revel in this glory, well, before that, we should should remember, first of all, is that that glory can be overwhelming to us, as it was to the disciples in our gospel, right? They were first um, startled and terrified. The glory of the Lord that is breaking through, the, breaking through him in his resurrected body is overwhelming to those who see it. And, and especially in light of what they had seen before in, in his crucifixion and death and burial. We too in life can be startled and terrified 
with the events that we see and also with um, the, the, the beauty of, of our Lord's resurrection. And to, to, to come to, from that being startled and terrified to the joy and amazement that the disciples had, the Lord asks us to do something. He says, touch me and see. That we are to touch him and to see, and through that, what does it say? He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. By touching and seeing the glory of the Lord, our minds are open to understand the events as much as our small minds can. And, and I can't think of a better way than this than touching and seeing here. The Eucharist, our Lord's body and blood, where we today touch and see him so that our minds can be open to understand the scriptures. And, and to add to this too, that first reading, what is the first line? What, what is, what is the, the man who is crippled, what is it that he does to Peter and John? He clings to them. He clings to them in, in, the, in the presence of the amazement of the people. And so Jesus is saying, touch and see me. And of course, with that, we, we, the, 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 the Eucharist right here, and that also involves clinging to the apostles, right? Clinging to the apostles and their successors and their teachings so that our minds can be opened to understand truly these events. The glory of the Lord is set before us. We are to touch and to see and to cling to this mystery that we can understand and live the glory that is being showered upon us.